A Porn Introduction The adult industry is about helping people get off, usually solo although some couples use porn and sex toys together. It makes more money than pop culture and sports entertainment combined even with all the free porn you can download at places like X Hamster and TUB8. The adult industry is getting interactive and high-tech. Live webcam modeling for a fee is a massive business. Virtual reality porn with people wearing headsets to watch special porn is in its infancy. It was covered in an episode of a TV show called Slut Ever. There are silicon real dolls and other sex toys. People are talking to each other at porn forums and sex chats. Porn forums are communities. Sex chats are people talking dirty to each other one-on-one -on -one like the old phone sex lines in the days before the internet. There doesn't seem to be much shame in having sex on film for money as evident at the adult video news slash AVN awards every year. They give awards to porn stars like Best Blow Job, Best DP, Double Penetration, etc. Guys walk around the adult industry conventions looking for photos with porn stars. Back in my day, you felt ashamed if you got caught with a skin mag in your room. Some people are acknowledging masturbation as the most common way people have sex. Up until the internet came along, if you acted in a porn movie, it was a scarlet letter. I remember the suicide of Shauna Grant. IAFD, the adult film database has a list of dead porn stars. There is still something crazy or immoral about it. I have nothing against porn. Some of the greatest experiences in my life were with watching porn. I think the best free porn download website is Nisaporn. You can download all you want for free onto your hard drive for keeps as opposed to streaming it for one view at places like a TUB8, X Hamster, Slutload and Mflix. They make their money through sex toy and sex dating ads and selling subscriptions for HD porn but all the other porn is free. In the past few years I started seeing attacks on porn saying it warps several things. Rush V and others from the so-called men's movement or the pickup artistry movement say it's beneath them as alpha males to watch porn and masturbate. Mark Pascio, in his talks at Free IO Your Mind conference, which are up on YouTube, says porn is a part of a depopulation agenda by supernatural evil forces to stop humans from having babies. He cited an alarming statistic about Japan. He said 61% of all men in Japan between the ages of 18 to 34 are single, not in a relationship with a woman which is very high for that age group for any culture during any time period in history. He thinks it's due to porn, sex toys and the impersonalization of society by technology including social media which is fake relations among people. It's not face-to-face -face so it misses the necessity of social abilities which lead to intimacy among people when they're simply close to each other in real life. Philip Zimbardo, a one-time famous psychologist with his own TV show in the 1980s, CEO wrote the book Man, Interrupted, Why Young Men Are Struggling and What We Can Do About It, with Nikita Kulam. He says overuse of porn makes young men socially awkward and they don't want relationships in real life. They're happy watching porn, jerking off. I was watching the Freeman Fly channel on YouTube with all the Free Your Mind conference videos and a woman comes on. Janice Barcelo. Birthofanewearth.com. YouTube.com slash user slash Janice Barcelo. Birthofanewearth.blogspot.ca. She gave a really wild presentation called Porn, Sexuality and Your Spirit about how porn is evil and demonic. Whenever you watch it, you're either allowing an evil force to enter into you or weakening your God-given spirit. She says that some porn producers are Satanists who put curses into their porn before they release it to the public. The more you masturbate to porn images, the more you get hooked on this stuff to the detriment of your ability to be intimate with others. This is dissociative sex that separates us from our ability to connect with love. She says porn doesn't lead to love which is why it's bad. I heard at least one guy on TED Talks at TED.com say he stopped watching porn but there were others too, claiming it's disrespect against all women. Myself personally, I was born with a high sex drive. The reason I know is because I used to read the stories at Advanced Masturbation before it died. Jack and World is still up there. I wanted to see what was the upper limit of people shooting off missiles.
One guy said seven times a day. A few people said three times a day. Most guys said once a day or every second day so compared to them except for that one liar, I'm way up there with all this sexual energy. I wrote a book about my life called A Free Spirit's Search for Enlightenment where I figured out that all I am is natural energy and potential natural energy every day when I wake up so the game is to release most of my natural energy every day with gusto as opposed to either following the artificial values of the world and releasing artificial energy or not doing much of anything at all so a part of that natural energy is sexual energy. I must release the sexual energy God put into me. Our culture wants us to be asexual out in public. Don't be a skin dog bothering stranger women trying to flirt with them. The sex dating websites are largely a myth that I explain in my dating and man book because no woman wants to have sex with the average guy over 35 unless he's got money and he's generous, many guys under 35 are insecure millennial androgynous skinny wimps. Most women over 35 aren't all that attractive and overweight and most women won't risk their safety to have sex with a stranger. They want love not sex. Do whatever you want for pleasure. Just don't break any laws. Pornography invokes fear, shame, and guilt among most people but it's the most natural thing in the world, to want to see naked pictures of people especially men looking at women because men are aroused by visual stimuli as opposed to a lot of women who want an emotional connection but a lot of women like porn too, with whatever arouses them. It might be good looking men, pretty women, or simply watching people have sex slash make love. I was brought up in a Polish Catholic family. I was an altar boy but it could not stop my true nature from enveloping my being. I remember being aroused when a friend had some soft core porn mags in the 1960s. You can't fight what comes naturally. Why do they try to stop it and fill it with shame? Your body tells you to massage your sex organs when you hit adolescence. That's why mainstream societal forces are wrong when they try to preach abstinence. Teaching abstinence with other people is fine when you're a teenager but they're so vague they don't tell you that you have to naturally release your sexual energy when you come of age. Everybody is scared to talk about masturbation because most of us are ashamed of doing it to ourselves but it's natural and we do it all the time until we die. If somebody could count the number of orgasms human beings get when they're having sex with someone else versus doing it to themselves. Solo sex wins because it's so much easier than having sex with someone else. When I was about 15 years old, I used to go to the used bookstore downtown where they sold packages of unsold magazines and plastic wrappers. My brothers tried to make fun of me when they found them but they were doing it to themselves too. Everybody does it but you still see preachers and right-wing advocates speak out against porn, premarital sex, masturbation etc. when you know they're human beings doing the same things you are. I always knew I was doing the right thing by exploring my sexuality because it felt natural but society tries to demonize any type of sex for pleasure outside of marriage which includes porn. A man needs sex all the time to expunge the sperm he's always producing. Some women are horny all the time too. It's natural to want to be aroused and seek out porn to do it. A sexual orgasm is one of the highest pleasures of life with or without intimacy and love involved. I've seen what I think is disgusting porn like simulated rape scenes, coprophilia, people pooping on each other, golden showers, urination, gang bangs and bukkake where groups of men do it to one girl which she's doing for money but nobody wants to do stuff like that. They create it to make money even if it's not what I would consider beautiful arousing porn. A part of the arousal of porn is to see people being humiliated. People get off on seeing other people degrade themselves by doing demeaning things for paltry amounts of money, kind of like selling your soul or some part of your dignity because deep down, even though I watch porn, I intuitively know that human beings were created to do great things, not to screw on film for money. Many porn stars commit suicide. Why? I believe that no matter how much we try to mainstream porn, it will still always be viewed as something beneath a human being. It's like you can do better than that, both to earn money as a porn actor and to watch it. The implication is that you have sex with other people. If you watch porn by yourself to get off, it seems kind of low even though pretty well everybody does it. I think normal porn is good but when they start doing extreme things just to try to make money, 
it loses its arousing effect, at least for me. People want the pleasures of orgasms but they also want intimacy and to marry and have kids. People get lonely. They get married and have kids then they sneak around and masturbate. Read some stories at the masturbation websites. Most married guys don't have much sex with their wives after three years of marriage. They still have high sex drives. They watch porn to help them get off. If you're not abusing or exploiting anyone, there's nothing evil or immoral about what you might do for pleasure. Candida Royale is a former porn star started a porn company with porn geared for women, meaning porn with romance in it. There is porn for women on the market.